I have been waiting forever to do this video. It just came in. It literally took a month to get here. It came from Canada. Shout out to all my Canadian subscribers. I love Canada. I love traveling there and it's only like eight hours away. Um, although this video is not about Canada. So we're going to get right back to it. This is the Aspen Ovard subscription. She has her own subscription box. I'm obsessed with her. I love watching her and Parker. They're the cutest couple ever. I'm kind of obsessed, like stalkerish, to the fact where like I almost always check it every day I go on to their site. Anywho, she has two different subscription boxes, the VIP one or something like that, and then the regular one, regular is $15, VIP or VIA, I don't know what she calls it is $49. Now it comes to no surprise that I ended up getting the $49 one because I am a huge fan of hers and the bigger one has over $100 in retail and bigger box, more stuff. Couldn't pass it up, at least not for the first month. May go to the $15 one, may unsubscribe altogether, who knows. Let's open it. I I've seen a few like spoilers just because she sent out some emails of it. I didn't even mean to watch them but I know there's like a benefit ruler lash mascara like sample in here um and then I think something like those stick on nail polish wraps better than that I don't know and I guess there's a shirt in here because straight into the box that is what I see makes sense though because you had to put a size in um, so the first thing I'm pulling out is the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit. I really don't need to talk much about that. I love this mascara. Um, currently have a favorite drugstore mascara to where I'm not buying like the high-end ones anymore, but I still super much love that. Um, that's, I feel unsanitary and I don't know why it's in here, but it's literally a paper straw just sitting in there. Maybe there's a tumbler coming up. I don't know. I'm really confused by that. What? And then there's a shirt and it has all the little like wormies on it. So we're going to take that off and then see what it is. So it just says wild and free and like the size of it actually looks like a size that would fit me. So I probably won't wear this as like a going out, but to bed or anything for sure. Not a bad start. Really confused about the straw still. And then randomly there's just a glass candle laying in here. This is by Mixture White Fresia and Pear. Has like a really clean scent. This would be a good bathroom candle. That'd be cute. I'm going to put this in the bathroom. I have been wanting kind of like a blush type thing. I think I'm going to paint the bathroom. It's like a purple right now, but it needs to repaint real bad. Not that I don't love purple. I love the actual color that it is, but... It's like discoloring in some spots. I don't know how that happens, but it does. More straws. Why are they just laying in there? I am someone that has like an OCD complex and uh, I won't ever be able to use those. Not that I, and honestly, I don't really like paper straws in general. Okay. I think I see candy. <gasps> Yum Earth Naturals Sour Beans, the jelly bean with attitude, all natural and delicious. I love sour stuff. I love it all day long. Jelly beans, if it's sour, I feel like I'm going to love them. And then by Pixie, we have a wide and awake crown, and it has a highlighter and, like, just a nude color on the end. I feel like this would be good, like, on the inner rim. The only thing is the pencil, and I don't really like putting pencil products on my water rim, so I don't know if I would use that there. It says brighten and lighten. It says to use the brighten under the eye and then on the waterline and then lighten on the brow bone and inner corner of the eye. I can definitely see how the brow bone would be a good one for this and even like on the um, cupid's bow or whatever you call it of your lip. Fun pin by Kish or you know I suck at pronouncing things. I've heard of the brand before but it's a bun pin. The only problem is that um, while I really love the idea and I like doing top nuts I feel like this would look like I'm trying to be a queen because it kind of has the shape of a crown. And that's the last thing I want. I will try it out, but I have a feeling I'm not going to like the actual, like, finish of it. But I really like the concept of this. I just wish it was in a different shape. I'm still going to test it out. By Makeup Geek. I have never tried a Makeup Geek item before, so I am so stoked that they put one in here. This is a duochrome eyeshadow pan, and it's in the color 
Mai Tai, which is kind of a pink, not the color I normally go for, but regardless, just being able to see the formula on and if it's pigmented will let me know if I should end up buying some because everyone always raves about them, but you never know and I just feel like I have enough eyeshadows to wear, like I don't need to buy stuff to test it out, but if I'm testing it out and I love it, I'll probably end up buying some, if that makes sense. This is odd, I haven't read it yet, but it's in like this neon pink boxy cylinder. Say hello to longer legs, one and a half visible heels. I have seen these at Ulta before. So you stick this little wedge, it's essentially like a door stopper, but in like a foam type version, and you put it in you'd probably have to put in like a boot of some sort because I mean you can't put that in sandals and then here's just like a little DIY um it is a little it says bunting but I'm assuming because I had to do this for where I work it's cute for like parties and whatnot they're just those little string dangly tassel things um I don't know how else to describe them but I've made them for like my sister's baby shower before. Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. The theme of the box was DIY party, which is making sense, I guess, why the straws were in here and then the little tassel things. Oh, and here are the NCLA designer nail wraps. Uh, not a fan of nail wraps or just having my fingers painted in general, so I'll probably end up giving this to someone. Um, I always send out, like, when people buy in my Poshmark shop, I'll send them a little, like, free gift with it, and this will be something I'll probably add in with that. And then there's a little charm in here. It's an infinity thing, and you're supposed to, I guess, make a bracelet with it. And then a midi ring set. So midi rings were super popular, I want to say, about two years ago. I know people still wear them. I, though, found them a little bit annoying to wear. Although I do like this one, but I don't, I don't really wear rings in general. Hmm. Yeah. And lastly, by Kish, again, same brand. It's the temporary tattoos, and um, they're just like gold and silver, which perfect color scheme for me. I've gotten by the same brand some of these temporary tattoos before. I actually will probably end up wearing one sometime. I never even used the other ones. But I feel like this is more so like my style if I were to wear one. I don't know. Looking at all of this, like I spent, after shipping, it was like $56, I think. And I'm not really seeing $56 of product here. I mean, I guess I am because, like I know, Little Black Bag had these all the time. They're like valued at $15. I guess, okay. There is $56 here. I just wouldn't have spent. I guess that's why I want to say I wouldn't have spent $56 on it. I think most excited of this is the Makeup Geek eyeshadow because, like I said, I've been really wanting to test these out. I see them all the time. And then, um, least favorite, definitely going to go to probably the Strahls. Like I said, I can never use those. I'm way too, like, OCD about that. I'll probably, like, keep it for at least another month and then see... This isn't like a monthly subscription. I guess I should have went into that. This is a quarterly subscription, or sorry, every other month. So you get it six times a year. If I'm remembering that correctly, I think it is every other month. So I should be getting one shipped out in June, which means I probably won't come in until July just based on the last shipping. But yeah, that was my Aspen box. Not super thrilled, but again, I probably will just have it for another month and see. Let me know what you got in yours, if you had the big one or the little one. I kind of want to go now look at reviews of the little ones and see just how different they are because that might be something I just want to switch to in general. I don't know. I'll just have to see what they got compared to what I got. Other than that, I think I'm going to head out. Leave me in the comments below if you have any other subscription services you want me to try, and I will see you guys later. Bye!